YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dead Signal. This is the latest title, by the way. Welcome to the game developer. And we've been making a ton of videos on this game. In the last video, we finally beat normal mode. Now, we were playing on a super unfair, unfair version of the game that was incredibly difficult. And we actually won by a bug as well. It was just all a little weird. So I wanted to come back because I love this game. And I wanted to see the new update that the developer just posted that has made the game way more fair. And it's just going to be overall a great time revisiting it again. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty. So uh, the main problem we were having while playing normal mode, first of all, was surviving the crazy killers, obviously, because there's a lot of crazy killers out here. But the other thing, once we figured out how to deal with the killers, the main problem we were having was that it was almost impossible to get enough reports. Now, the developer saw that and he agreed that it was way too hard to get enough reports. So he has changed it. So now you have a, around 20% more reports than you used to have, which means the game is going to be way easier than before. Uh, and in the earlier hours, you also have way more reports that you can now find, which means that you can collect a bunch of reports, stack them all up so that you have a bunch of rollover quota for the later hours when it gets really scary and really crazy. So in the first hour, there's almost nothing that happens because all the dangers aren't even active yet. So our task right now is to try and get as many as possible. I think there's between eight and ten anomalies that spawn in the first hour now another thing that the dev added is that you can now go from the first to the last you can loop around in the cameras before you had to when you reach the end you had to go all the way back to the beginning before you could go back so yeah it was super annoying so now you can loop back and forth in the cameras which is going to be way better and if you watched me win on normal mode you know how salty i was because we were literally playing for eight hours straight and it was so incredibly difficult so i'm just hoping to have like an all-around better time now because they fixed some of the uh, the like super unfair balancing bullshit that we had to deal with. Um, so if you're not familiar with this game, this is Dead Signal. Uh, we are playing both observation duty as well as welcome to the game basically at the same time. Here we doing we're doing observation duty. We have to report things that are different that don't that look out of place. Well, specifically for the lore of the game, we're we're reporting. We're working for some dark agency and we're reporting secure. Oh, it shows you here. Look at that. They added a little tooltip. That was that's also new. So you can see. So there are six different categories. Um, we are trying to report things that can be stolen or ways that people can get into the house or stuff that's dangerous for people stealing because we're a black market organization. We're evil. So there's either if there's an access point like the door open that someone can get in through, we report access point. If there's a hack hackable device, just a laptop, phone or a tablet, we report that high value. If there's like a package, a wallet, credit cards or something defense, if there's guns or, the, or guarding dogs, peep is if there's people that could be spied upon and then suspicious is just any other thing like sketchy people body parts blood etc so yeah there you go I, i'm actually that's super cool so yeah adam has been doing a lot of work on this game uh apparently i was watching the developer live stream this is actually the most successful game he's ever made in the first 24 hours um wait is that a no the, the this this game sold better than scrutinized welcome to the game one welcome to the game two all all of them uh which is super exciting to see because I know that he was getting really frustrated by his games not performing as well in the or in like the sales department. So I'm just really happy to see that they that this game in particular, at least the first half of the sales here, has been pretty successful. And I hope to see that continue because I love these titles, man. Like John's chapter is gonna be so sick. Uh, which if you didn't already see the ending of normal mode, we're hopefully gonna find it right here in this episode. So you're gonna be seeing the ending again. Now I haven't seen any, um, anything yet. So we need to pay more attention. Uh, we're looking for, I mean, literally anything out of place. What's up there? There's just a box. Uh, there's nothing open, no bag, no suspicious things. Now it really depends. The, the spawns are very, very random. I'm just gonna say random suspicious report. Oh, there is a suspicious, there's an arm. Look at that. I've never reported anything in this room. That's the first time I've ever reported something in the red room. Look at that right there. That's sick. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty, is chat in the right spot? Chat is in the right spot. Okay, so that's that's our first report. We need to collect as many as possible because the later hours are going to be absolutely insane. Uh, there's a high value there. Look at these keys right here. They got a high value. That's already two reports and we're 13 minutes in. Now, we're going to try and defend ourselves a little... Oh my god, I thought I was getting killed there. Uh, defend ourselves a little bit against the dangers. We're going to turn off this light right here. Turn off the light in the... Oh, I ran out of stamina. Turn off the light in the bathroom because if the lights are off, that means that the... Um, the killers that go into your house 
like uh, the Del Taco or Del Falco is his actual name, or like Lucas that is going to be spying on you from afar, uh, they will be leaving faster if you turn off as many lights as possible. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so that's another one. So we already got our quota, but we're going to try and get as many more as possible. Uh, this one I've seen a lot, but it's cool to finally see something in the red room. Um, now, I was also watching the dev live stream, and I saw some of the anomalies. I got I got a little spoiled. I got a little teaser. In this particular room right here, there's four... There is... Uh, I think there's five anomalies in this room. There's a lady that could be standing here. There's blood on the walls. This door can open, and there's a wallet over here as well as a phone over here. So those are all the anomalies in this room, so that's all we have to look out for. Um, but that's the only one Adam showed. He didn't show anything else. Uh, so now we're getting messages from Clint, which, by the way, if you know the lore of Welcome to the Game, this is the character you play as in Welcome to the Game 2, which is really cool. So this game takes place after the events of Welcome to the Game 2. Um, and this game uh, leads up to John's chapter, which is going to be like, I know I've been calling this Welcome to the Game 3, but that, according to the dev, is actually going to be Welcome to the Game 3. John's chapter... That will be, there's a phone right there. Look at that. Look how many more reports we're getting. This is so much better. Like, holy shit. Okay, now there's one thing that has been made harder, which is the packages. Oh, apparently not. This is still 45 minutes. 9B as well, that's perfect. Uh, he has made the package timer slightly shorter, uh, but 45 minutes is more than long enough. We can actually wait until the next hour entirely. So 9B, also did the code change at any point? The code has not changed yet. Uh, now what we also need to be, what we, hope to figure out at some point is a way to avoid spawning del taco or avoid getting him to be angry at us because uh adam teased that there is a way that you can avoid making del del falco angry which we have no idea how that works but if we can figure it out that would be sick did the code just change i think it just changed literally just changed after i checked uh one four seven five six thank you guys for uh, 14756 for typing out the codes. I'm gonna be counting on you guys to remember the codes, uh, because I can't. I don't have the brain capacity for that. Uh, is there anything there? I don't see anything. Did the title update on YouTube? I'm pretty sure it did, right? Um, should be a new title and thumbnail and everything. Because I saw some people being confused. It did. Okay, thank you for checking. Um, because if you're con if you're confused while watching the YouTube video after the fact, by the way, we're doing uh, we're testing out YouTube live streaming because Twitch has changed their policy. You can now stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time without being banned, which is really exciting. Uh, so and I I did a poll and the vast majority of people, over seventy percent of people, were like, yes, please try out YouTube live streaming. So that's what we're doing today. We're just checking it out, um, seeing how it goes. Now these games require my full attention. Is that an arm? That's not an arm. So, I'm sorry if I miss any chat messages. That is just because these games are stressful as fuck. I should probably be checking every now and then. Or... There is, like, a noir around. If you're a little confused by why the shadows aren't here, that's because I've turned down shadows in the settings. Because it makes the, it makes the game less dark. Which makes it slightly easier to spot the anomalies. And at this high level of gameplay, you have to, like, take as many advantages as you can because the game gets insanely difficult. There's a person in the bathtub. I'm going to say that's a peep right there. That's already four reports, and we're only 30 minutes into the game. Now, I think the dangers are active. Okay, so at, or Clint is done telling all his stuff, which means that now we have to be careful of the noir as well as the uh, Lucas showing up later. I don't know. There, he said something in the patch notes about Noir showing up in different places now, which is kind of scary because that means that Noir might show up like in the bathroom or something. And then how are you going to see them? Kind of messed up. XBR, thank you for the 5,000 biddies. Thank you. Holy. Um, I'm looking for money, looking for... This is going to be so much better, man. Like being able to spot more anomalies. Now, besides that, there's a guy over there that's suspicious as hell. Uh, another one already five dude <laughs> i'm giggling now that we get so many reports we can actually check around the house and see if there are any uh creepy guys out here now apparently you can run through the laser when lucas is here you can run through the laser really quick and not get shot at least that's what the developer said which i won't be trying because that seems insane but uh if we have to then we can try it 
but I would like to avoid it. Okay, that's already five. We already have three rollover reports. So this is kind of the idea. Early game, you're trying to stack up as many reports as possible to, um, just a heads up. It's it's not against the Twitch TOS. It's literally just updated. They posted, they, I think they announced it at TwitchCon. They just changed their entire policy, uh, which is super cool. Like I never expected they would do that. I would like what I would what I was expecting for Twitch at the very least is that they would wait until like Kick died because Kick has, would have obviously died in like a year or something. But now they're giving like a massive boost to Kick from people that are like on a live stream to that shithole platform. <laughs> Sorry if you're a fan of it. I am personally not because of the the people on there and the ties to gambling. Um, but yeah, that is, it's just, a, it's pretty wild to see that they changed their entire mind. We should maybe do this package at some point. 9B, right? No arm here, no, nothing else. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Okay, so you're still there. Yeah, it's super cool. It's a, like a policy I literally thought they would never change. Now it might, it might not be, it's literally just going to depend on the way it turns out. We might not keep this forever. It's just, it's just a trial. We'll see how it goes. Like it. You, you can't knock until you try it, right? We got to try it out at least a little bit. Uh, we could go... Um, I think we want to get at least one more report and then go up to the... To get the package. Because the reports spawn in like waves. So if we get this report now, no doors open, then we can leave and maybe not even miss a single one of the reports. Because, I mean, Del Taco isn't here yet. Is that something back there? Something laying around, but I hope that's not an anomaly. That would be impossible to see, dude. Um... No arms. We definitely missed that arm if that was there before. I've never reported anything in that room, dude. Uh, where is the anomaly? Box near door in bedroom. All right. Now we're talking. No box here. The box. All right. That's high value. I'm gonna report that, and now we're gonna go on a go on a on a journey. We have the flashlight. Yes. Oh, the light is off. Hello. No evil enemies. Boom. Hey, Phoenix Rising, what up? What's up? What does Del Taco do? He will... He can both arrive in your house as well as in... He can also show up on the roof, apparently. I've never seen that myself. But he can show up on the roof. Which is kind of scary. <laughs> hey, hello, what's up? What difficulty are we playing on? We're playing on normal mode right now. I will. I would play on Nightmare, but it's not out yet. Because he, he's trying to balance normal mode first before he is releasing... No enemy here, huh? Before he is releasing uh, nightmare mode. And I'm really glad to see that Adam is actually like balancing normal mode in Dead Signal for normal players. I was expecting that he wouldn't change his ways and he would keep the game as unbeatable as the previous ones. Because like Scrutinize normal mode is completely unbeatable for any normal gamer that doesn't like use guides or something um like it is insanely fucked up uh so to see him actually wanting to balance this around normal players is kind of cool to see it's exciting i mean i highly recommend this game casual mode alone is just super fun to play like you can die as many times as you you have to and there's not much risk involved because you will just be reset to the last hour checkpoint yeah, I think he did a made a great choice. 9B, right? That's where we gotta go. Deliver a package to 9B. I got an achievement for that. A neighborly achievement. Uh 14756. Thank you. There we go. Alright, no enemies here. We're definitely gonna die. I'm gonna become complacent and I'm gonna die. Hope that you thank you for converting your sub. Uh okay, the package is still there. Let me make sure that there's no crazy noir in the house as well, by the way. Are you in the bathroom? You're not in the bathroom. Adam said that they could spawn in the bathroom. I'm not sure if that's actually true. It would be kind of messed up in my opinion. Okay, client received the package. I'm going to repair this camera. Because otherwise we're going to have to deal with this for the whole time. So we got seven reports. Look at how much this has changed. Before you could get a maximum of six reports in the first hour. So the fact that we're now getting seven already is going to be such a big deal later on. Uh, rip the frames. Yeah, I'm sorry. For the live stream uh let's check if there's any evil enemies around no evil enemies the bit rate is dead as hell okay nothing ever still nothing happening in this room though uh and this room is also fairly quiet 
So we received the pack. Oh, well, this was actually the package, right? That gave us the additional quota here. There's another package, all right. High value right there. Nice. Hitman! Okay. How did you know that? I smell Hitman in 3, 2, 1, you fucking clairvoyant. <laughs> Freaking called it. Alrighty, easy peasy. We have to wait for 30 seconds for, uh, for him to disappear. Let's actually try... Let's try 25 seconds this time just to see if it... If we can make it shorter with this many lights off. I'm gonna get up at 35 on this timer. <laughs> yeah, we need to survive until 5 a.m. 35, I'm also gonna drink some water. Have I played Resident Evil Remake? I have not, no. Um, Just haven't gotten around to it. There are so many games coming out. The Phasma update as well. That was 25 seconds. Okay, so 25 seconds is not enough. Wait. Wait, it was, it was perfectly enough to the point where it literally disappeared as I was getting out of the hiding spot. What the fuck? Okay, well, never mind then. 25 seconds is the exact time you have to wait. Wait, that's sick. Okay. When is the next seven days to die upload? I was gonna do it today. I was gonna record a seven days to die video today, but then Twitch announced that multi-streaming is now allowed. So I had to figure out how to fucking stream on YouTube. <laughs> so that took my time um, away. But I'm gonna record one probably tomorrow, so get ready. I'm so chatty today, what do you mean? Stream. Um, we need to find something. It is the next hour, we're already at the quota. Look at that, absolutely incredible. There's no taco yet. I don't know how we avoid taco. I don't know if we can. Um, like, I think we have to look, like we have to look away from him immediately or something. But, uh, but I'm not sure. My face when streamer talking on stream. My fucking neighbor. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it was uh, like a real... Oh, there's a package. If it was a real thing he plans to implement or if it was just a joke. But Adam said that he might want to add a feature to the game where you can have a really loud upstairs neighbor and then you have to grab a broom and knock on the roof to shut up the neighbor. <laughs> I think it was a joke, but he kind of said it in a serious way, so that's, that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, we got a report. That would be hilarious. But he said, like, then I could make there, there be way more sound effects on, like, the dangers. Because right now, there's not that many sound effects. The only enemy that has a sound effect uh, telling you that they're there is um, Del Taco. All the other ones you can't, you can't hear. I'm playing it for the first time. No, we've played a ton of this game already. I'm I'm like genuine. I was playing it by myself like after the stream yesterday. After playing the game for eight hours, I was still playing it by myself because it's just really fun. Like I like how it perfectly ties together like two of my favorite horror genres, like both observation duty. The observation duty part, like because of the rollover system that this game has, the observation duty part is so satisfying because if you get a lot of reports early when it's not super dangerous to stay alive, you make those later hours so much easier. I could just, it's just, it's just really well. I'm really glad to see that he's, he's like actually thinking about balance for the game because I was a little scared he was just going to keep it as unfair as it was on release. But luckily that's not the case. There was a hand? Where? Wait, whoa, whoa. Hand, hand, hand. I didn't see it. Not here. I'm not seeing any hand. All right, we're just going to keep going. We'll loop back around to it, maybe. Nothing here for now. If the windows are open, by the way, scream at me. Because I, there's a wallet. Nice. So many. Silver Fox, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys for all the subs over on, uh, on YouTube as well. I appreciate it. Okay, that's another one. Any peepers? This one can have a phone or wallet over there as well. I have a package that needs to be delivered. 10C in 30 minutes. That's actually like, so we're getting so lucky with the, <laughs> with the packages here. 10C in 30 minutes. We do have to do that relatively fast here though. You know what? We could literally, we haven't seen taco yet, right? I don't know if we, we can avoid taco. People said, well, the dev said you can, but like, I don't know, man. Uh, XBR, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. Okay, give me another report here so we can... I'm scared of potential noir. 
We might just randomly die because of Noir. I don't know. Oh, there's uh, credit cards, high value. Okay, you know what? Let's just fucking go for it. Where's the power gonna go out? I don't think we can wait for the power to go out anyway. Let's go for the package. There should be Noir here, right? What? Where the fuck is Noir? Package at the pillar? I mean, it's fine. Is this in Sim on YouTube? Yes. You're just playing the killer. So the way that the game works, there is four killers, I guess. Well, there's five ways to lose. Uh, but there's Lucas, which you know from Welcome to the Game 2. But he's been upgraded here. So not the... He doesn't get into your house anymore. Like, he doesn't walk around. He instead will show up with a laser. With a rifle. And if you get hit by that rifle, you get shot. So you need to avoid the rifle. Where is Noir, man? Did they, did they make the game, like, insanely easier? <laughs> so if you get hit by the laser, you get killed. Because he shoots you. Or if you turn on your flashlight, you also get shot. Now, then there is Noir, which there's two versions of Noir. The male Noir and the female Noir. For the female, you have to walk close to her until she tilts her head. And then you go... Um, I do go to 10C. And then you turn around and you stand completely still for 10 seconds. Otherwise, she kills you. And you can't run while, while she's there as well. Otherwise, you die. For the man, the man noir, you just have to shine your flashlight at him and then turn around. That's all. So the male noir is way easier um, than the female one. And then there's also Del Falco, or how we have named him, Del Taco. Um, and he will be showing up in only normal mode. Probably also nightmare, or definitely also nightmare mode, obviously. And for him, there's several ways he can attack. He can attack... When you're delivering a package to someone, he can show up at the end of the hallway and then you have to run to the elevator as fast as possible uh, before he gets you, otherwise you get killed. Or if you're in the room and you hear whistling, that means he's gonna come in like how Lucas does in Welcome to the Game 2. And if you don't hide under the bed, he will kill you. So you have to hide. Uh, that's the code. One, four, seven, five, six. Now there's another way. Okay, so the code changed. There's another way to lose, which is if you don't get enough quote or, no, or enough reports, uh, which by delivering packages, it's one nine nine eight zero. One nine nine eight zero. By delivering packages and reporting things, you will get um, quota points, which if you have enough, you. Oh, whoops, I clicked the wrong. One nine nine eight zero. Okay. We just finished Slender. Yeah, it was amazing, dude. The game looked so beautiful. It's insane. Thank you guys for the gift subs on YouTube, by the way. Uh, okay, we need to get up immediately to see if there's a Lucas. But well, we already did Lucas, right? We're kind of good, honestly. When is the next stream? Every day. It's every day, bro. Uh, the client received the package. We, we got six points. We got six rollover points. Okay, there's a person laying... I'm a, is that a peep or is that a dead body? I think that's a dead body because they're missing arms. So I'm gonna say suspicious, but uh, who knows? I have to be careful. Do I actually have to look here? I doubt it, right? That would be so fucked up. Don't report it. Is that the body of Del Falco? Wait, did I mess up here? Is, it, is this what happened? Is this how you avoid Del Falco? Because uh, I... Del Falco is a, a is a professional body cleaner or whatever, right? Where he like gets rid of the evidence of a murder. Um, maybe by reporting corpses, you make him angry. There's a door open here, by the way, but you couldn't probably see that because of the fucked up bit rate. We're gonna do this and then file report it. Access point, boom, and we need to stand up immediately to check if there's no war. I think I'm actually gonna check the bathroom as well. I don't know if this actually works, but obviously it actually can show up there, but Adam seemed to say it can. Hey, Golden Dude Drop, what's up? Okay, we got that. Uh, let's go. Report checks out. Portable Dude, we got so many fucking points, dude. Eight points. Creepy. The door is closed. Fine. What difficulty are we on? We're playing on the highest difficulty, at least for now. Uh, normal mode. There's no higher difficulty. But if you know Adam games, Reflex Studio games, you know that normal mode might as well be called impossible mode because that shit is hard as fuck. Why did you not report the body? I did. I, huh? I did. 
I just stood up uh, while the report was pending, so you didn't see it complete, I guess, but I did report it. Um, Jugi Jugi, thank you for the two. It's so much better to have more reports, man. It feels it feels like you have way more influence. Uh, there's a fucking guy standing there. That's suspicious. Or maybe a peep. I don't know. Yeah, we're so... We're doing so damn well. Those rollover points are damn sexy. Will we go live every day on YouTube? I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. I just have to... I mean, it's, it, we're doing just fine. It was just like if the... If this if the chats are are okay and manageable, it's totally fine. You cannot speedrun this game because there's no there's it's fi it's a fixed timer, so it's impossible. The uh, like if you beat the game, you get the world record. The only time where you can go faster is like at the end and at the beginning of the game, which if you just run that perfectly, everyone will have the same time. Death speedrun, which I am so happy that this game is unspeedrunnable. Because I would have never heard the end of it if it was. <laughs> oh, come on! I would have, like, people would have kept telling me, when are you going to speedrun that signal? When are you going to speedrun that signal? Now I don't have to do that shit. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Where is the fucking noir, man? What is going on? I'm so confused as to what is happening. We haven't, we have seen, like, one Lucas once, and that's it until now. It feels like something isn't right. Press the button to stop the elevator. You can stop the elevator. <laughs> People will ask me to do it for John's chapter. I mean, I'm looking forward to John's chapter so much. I don't know when it's going to come out. He says that he wants to keep working on that signal for a little bit to get it in a really good state. And obviously, nightmare mode isn't out yet. I'm assuming, there you are, that the lady is going to be here. We have to Come walk on closer. close to her until she chain moves her head. Then you turn around and count to ten. Don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Okay. I I love how people when I uploaded my first video on this game. People, there was a comment and like it had so many upvotes of someone saying, dude, he really counted 10 in seven seconds. Like he was counting way too fast. My guy, you're watching a video with a timer on it. You could have fact checked yourself. You could have test checked yourself immediately before posting that comment and found out that I did in fact count it exactly 10 seconds. But instead you decided to joke on me even though you are the one that is the joke. God damn it, YouTube. Like, I, I looked at the video, it's literally exactly 10 seconds. Like, it seems like I count fast, but if you look at the timer of the video, you can see clearly that I counted for 10 seconds, so I'm not sure what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure what to tell you. I can shout at YouTube Live now, let's go. Remember one of the Easter eggs Adam showed yesterday? I don't no, i didn't i didn't pay i was doing other stuff i was doing youtube video editing all right well we're doing just fine it's really weird that we have not seen del taco yet uh, i love how we're like an oil machine right now where you guys immediately know to send the code as soon as i get to the door <laughs> del taco Let's see checking for I'm checking for Noir real quick. Just to make sure. I feel like I shouldn't run through there because, like, the laser could show up. And then I guess I could hide in the bathroom. But, okay, anyway, we should get reports. We've definitely missed quite a few now, but that's okay. Uh, the window is open. That's an access point right there. We got 13. We got, like, 10 rollover points right now. Holy fuck, dude. This is insane. How many points we're going to have. Like, we're going to be done with the next two hours already. And we have two more hours to get additional rollover points. Like, it all... <laughs> it almost might mean that now everyone could be... <laughs> not not trying to be rude. Um, I mean, we're kind of play Because this is how it should go. Especially for observation duty. If a streamer with, like, thousands of people watching can't beat your game, it is impossible to beat by any normal person. Like... 
an observation duty should be an observation duty style game should be easy for someone that has a lot of help because that's just the way it works because you've got many more people paying attention and it's really hard to miss something so we should be crushing it i mean we can still die to like the enemies right and we're probably gonna die to the taco man um when it comes to deliver his taco eater von cheese thank you for the gift subs but i'm not sure we'll see um what the heck that window is still open we already reported that though but thank you for paying attention um just making sure we're not dying out here it's gonna be lucas any second i think del taco show doesn't show up before midnight it's only midnight we're we doing normal we've been playing normal uh for a long time there's a suspicious bag out there suspicious we got 10 or freaking 11 points dude 11 bonus points uh, we have played the first to fathom episode it's uh going live on youtube in about two hours from the time you're watching right now so don't worry about it uh there's the laser dude we're actually going insano mode right now okay so we could try 25 seconds exactly again i don't know how good of an idea that is though um let's try 30 i think 30 seconds oh the door unlocked okay 30 seconds dragon thank you for the prime hey mr what's up have you ever had a package delivery at the first floor no but i think we've had it on the second floor though the laser is extremely obvious no i feel like the laser is totally fine because you can't hear it at all if you're not like from away from your computer and if you're sitting at your desk for like 10 seconds while the laser is in your room you just get shot you just get killed so you have to be like really on guard okay that's 30 seconds right there laser should be gone xbr thank you for all the gift subs man thank you the back on no noir the code has changed though let me check i need to be careful of we have a new code it's four five one five seven four five one five seven i'm quickly gonna check if there's any noir out here four five one five seven boom Eh, we good. We're probably gonna get a new package soon. Do we? Package at 5C. 20 minutes! Okay, 5C. Let's just go for that immediately. Well, let's get one report and then go for that immediately. 20 minutes? So this is the, the nerf. This is what has been made slightly harder. Oh, uh, no! Go away immediately. Don't look at him. I don't know if you can avoid spawning Del Taco, but we saw him for a second there. Uh, I don't know if that was long enough for him to be mad at me. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do here. I can't go through the... I need to stand up for Noir. Alright, let's just fucking go. Let's leave the camera now. Uh, what are you say? Oh, shit. I got Del Taco. How do you avoid Del Taco? I don't know, man. Like, I guess if you don't look at the camera... I guess if you don't look at the camera... What, what time is it? It's exactly 12, right? In the game. Maybe if you don't look at the camera at all at midnight or whoopsie daisy. <laughs> like he doesn't spawn or something. Maybe that's how you do it. What the fucking shit, man? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Holy shit, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> okay. We need to go to 5C, right? Hey, Marluxia, what's up? Oh boy, was it confirmed that Noir spawns in the flat? Yes, we saw it yesterday. If you look at... So the way you can avoid it, if you stand up a lot, she, they don't spawn. But if you wait for a while uh, before standing up, then they will... They will spawn like if you wait too long go to 5c we need to avoid the laser oh we already did the laser very recently right okay we're gonna check if there's a um del taco could show up on the roof here okay, it's still available i don't know i think you have to be on the roof for a really long time for him to show up 5c we can't so if we get del taco now we're kind of fucked but it is what it is I don't know if C, like, avoids 
Like, if he doesn't spawn, if you have to deliver a package to see, I'm not sure. We'll see. Del Taco? Yeah, we call him Taco Man. What does he do? He kills you if he gets you. He will stab your face and murder your ass. I'm not gonna hide in the bathroom when I see the laser because it is. You have to run through the laser to do that. Which is stupid. Because then you get shot by. Oh god. You get shot by Lucas. Let's see. You're gonna be here? Taco? Taco? No tacos? I know tacos, that's fine. Okay. Hey, the Jord, what's up? Hey, Panthera. Does this game support controller? Uh, I think he said he wanted to release it on the Steam Deck. But I'm not sure, like, if that's something he plans to spend time on. But I, I wouldn't recommend playing this game with a controller if I was honest. Or if I'm honest. Seems like not the best control scheme. For controller. Okay. Four, five, one. Four, five, one. Five, seven, boom. Hey, okay, check the house real quick. No one. Taco's gonna show up. No! Oh my god. Fuck you. This is so rude, man. Goddamn dead signal. I mean, maybe we can spawn Taco now. God damn it. <laughs> Back to the roof we go. Do I see YouTube live shit? Yes, I do. Wacky. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Okay, that's unlucky. Thank you guys for the freaking level 5 hype train on Twitch. What the hell? Crazy. Alrighty. Um, we don't have a package, right? There's gonna be Lucas on here, I'm telling you. Did we just deliver the package? Wonder if we can get Del Taco on the roof here. That'd be sick. We got pretty lucky there, but the oh my god, our luck has turned around. We're getting lucky now with the with the signal thing. What a what the hell, man? This is a whole new day. Okay, I'm gonna go to ten to try and spawn Taco Man, but we'll see. The floor the same. I don't. I think it is. I don't think you can, uh, let's see. Taco? Yeah. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> let's go, dude. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it worked, baby. Oh, the description of the game on YouTube is slender. I'm sorry. But the, the title was good, though. And the thumbnail as well. I, I have to... I'm, I'm learning, all right? I'm learning how to be a YouTube streamer. It's confusing, okay? Uh, we got four, five, four, five, one, five, seven. Boom. New code. Alrighty then. Let's see. We got two, six, one, four, seven. Two, six, one, four, seven. Uh, two, six, one, four, seven. Boom. Okay. We good. We need we still have 11 over, man. We we basically didn't sit at the freaking computer for like an eternity and we still have so many over quota. That's crazy, dude. Hey, Burvang, what's up? The client received the package. Wait, we we still have 7 over quota, man. This is crazy. We just need to try and stay alive. Like that's all we have to do. We cannot get killed. Wait, let me get. I'm gonna get killed as soon as I get up. I was. That would have been epic comedic timing. Lucas is gonna be here any second. That's for sure. Um. Anything? Go through them fast. No arm. Making sure, because I feel like Lucas is gonna be here soon. Scared. 
terrible for you yeah cj is in uh on twitch uh, at twitchcon right now well that is suspicious right there a lot of blood so we couldn't do terrible trio this week and next week or well, i guess this week <laughs> uh well like uh tomorrow tomorrow's week there will be uh the phasma update right holy shit that is actually around the corner man there's so many things coming out <laughs> it's crazy you haven't beaten normally yes we did we're just doing it again because he's changed the game and i just wanted to test what the new update feels like and it feels so much better it feels so much more balanced like for normal players because there is like it, it was so hard to get enough reports to actually be able to beat the later hours but now there is way more stuff happening which is just so much better so yeah i still don't know how the fuck we're supposed to avoid del taco but whatever and wait for the phasma up that's gonna be very cool we're not seeing any any reports right now which is kind of concerning i don't know what's happening maybe i'm missing something is there a window open oh my god hello Ooh. okay okay dude <laughs> let's go nice we avoid lucas there was a person in the garage i i should have checked that thought i saw something move okay we wait for until 35 here why well, am i constantly standing up and sitting down so it looks like i'm doing it for no reason because the enemy by doing that you m make sure that noir doesn't spawn behind you if you sit at your computer for too long noir will spawn behind you and if you don't look at them in time they will kill you but if you stand up as much as i'm doing they will never spawn so you can prevent them from spawning ever by just getting up and not, and sitting back down at your computer a lot which is really nice um now it is technically more optimal to to like wait until they spawn and then these well i don't know if it would be i'm just i'm just happy not not having them spawn in my apartment honestly because they're fucking scary <laughs> yeah let's check the here no okay anyway let's so there was a person let's see if it's still there Person behind the pole. Yeah, he's gone. All right, well, I'm, that's fine. That's fine. You're not. You're gonna miss some reports. Uh, new package. Oh, no new package. He's still there. Wait, what? What? Okay, I'm blind. Wait, what? This is no one. There's no one here. Am I? Am I blind? I'm genuinely not seeing anyone. What the fuck? How do you pronounce my name? Insim. No one there. I'm, I can't see anyone. I'm just going to move on. If he was there, then I'm sorry. I missed him. We're going to focus on greener pastures. Right now, the door is open. Look at that. Just a fucking insane rollover, man. Absolutely incredible. It's so good let's go oh hi what the fuck one two three four five six seven eight nine and bonus second wow okay well you can definitely show up news that is the new spawn location okay so i was looking through my apartment just fine then so you don't have to go all the way to the to the bathroom at least i hope um i'm assuming i don't know if they're gonna spawn back to back oh the new, new code 3632 thank you so much hey Anthony, what's up 3632 i've never seen that spawn but i guess that might have been one of the original it would be really stupid if they can spawn in the bathroom where you can't see them without walking to them like that's just make any sense like that would be just silly <laughs> uh wallet let's go okay uh this is actually beyond busted we have 10 rollover reports are you kidding me i mean it's fine right because the way that noir should work is that if you don't see them they're not gonna kill you you have to see them and then you play their game they're not just gonna fucking kill you if you don't see them uh, the report checks out. 
You got that wallet, by the way. I got that report. Thank you for paying attention, though. Uh, is there going to be anything else? I let check in the rooms. He died to it. Oh, uh, we'll try. I mean, we're just standing up and sitting down as much as possible, right? As to not have them spawn in the first place. That is kind of silly, though. Like, I feel like that's unfair, in my opinion. That's just... That's like... That gives me scrutinized vibes. You know how in scrutinized you have to check the... That, that wallet is still there. You have to check the freaking the doors and the windows every fucking five seconds because like one time there can be a killer there and it just keeps you constantly busy the whole entire game. Like this could keep you busy the whole entire game if you actually had to check the, the fucking bathrooms every few moments. But whatever, I guess. Anything here, man? We're getting like nothing to report. Unlucky. There's a package. Let's go. That's another high value. Have a package? Let's check the package real quick. Where she needs to go? Pen C in 20 minutes? Jesus. Did we just do it? We just reported something. Let's check the bedroom and the toilet and see. And then we can maybe spawn. Um, spawn Taco. Hello. That's it. Come closer. Don't move. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Okay. Um, to be fair though, Anti, I saw I was watching Ella, Ella play for a little bit, and he like turned off literally every single light in his room. So I feel like that probably made Noir spawn way more than he does for like normal players. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like my... I mean, we didn't have any problems with no more when we beat the game. There's an Easter egg audio in one of the apartments. It's interesting. Have I played, played the Dark Picture titles? We have played all of the Dark Picture titles, haven't we? Dark Pictures Anthologies. I'm pretty sure I've played basically all of them. You can find them on YouTube. Check the thing. No laser. Ten C, right? Or something ten. No laser. Doesn't disconnect. Start delivering. Run. It's not vacation. Do, 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 do. Del Taco is probably gonna show up soon. It's Adam's game? Yes, it is. Easter egg on apartment. Don't spawn. <clears throat> okay, then. You know what I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna do something stupid. It's probably not gonna work. But let's try going to floor eight. <laughs> the spawn... Eight is where you lived when Clint when Welcome to the Game 2, right? Maybe this is where we get the Easter egg. Do we spawn Del Taco now? Oh my god. Let's see if this works. Alright, sir. Whatever. <laughs> hey, forever young. What's up? Okay, that did not work. You have to get closer. No, I, I've I've done it like that many times. It's fine now. 
I'm not gonna try it until he spawns. I mean, we have lots of quota, so we should be fine, but... I'm gonna be coming into the room any second. 3632. Same code, let's go. Pick the rooms. Okay. Any... Any easy reports? Check if real quick if there's anything that spawns right away. Nothing. Door code is still fine. Okay, this is stressful as fuck. Uh, we need to spot anomalies. We are still over quota by far, like massively. Client received the package that gives us another quota. Can I close that, please? Is that door open? Wait, that was X. That door's not open, okay. Lil's Crown, thank you for the sub. Uh, nothing. There's a package. Let's go. Dude, insane. If we can keep 10, like, what do we even do the last hour? Do we just sit under the bed the whole hour? Oh! He's coming. Okay. Let's go! It's Del Taco. He's here, baby. Project Zomboids are from yeah, last year. I definitely want to play Project Zomboid again. I love that game. But I'm waiting for some updates. But they're really slow at doing updates. Taco, let's go. What difficulty are we on? We're playing normal. You can hear him walk around, by the way. The game good? I think it's amazing. I think it's great. I think I like this more than Scrutinized. Or I definitely like this more than Scrutinized. It's more welcome to the game than Scrutinized was. Um, and it being partly I'm on observation duty it's just the freaking cherry on top of the op or on top of the welcome to the game cake why am I hiding from you I'm hiding from crazy taco man hey welcome to the game to buy all the items we've done that seems easier than the, than the others I mean it didn't used to be I'm playing the update right now to see what the difference in difficulty is it feels way easier now than it used to be but i think it's like easy in a fair way or like not easy in a fair way but it's fair where you like if you pay or if you report a lot early you get easier late game so you can deal with all the danger I'm gonna leave he's already gone dude let's go he's out of here Right? No. Oh my god, the fucking... Jesus Christ. You dickhead. What was the code? Uh, 30. Okay. Fuck me, man. They we're getting these packages are fucking us over. Like, with the old system, we would have lost this game. We have a package? No package. Alright, well. Uh, luckily we have lots of over quota. But we need to go back to the fucking roof. Again. Because there's a, the dead signal again. Um, yeah, I don't how I don't know if Adam trolled it, the way he said it, it didn't feel like it was a troll. It felt like there must actually be a way. I mean he said it in his classic Adam-y ways. <laughs> the way he said it was you gotta you have to think why, or something like, why does Insim keep on spawning Mr. Del Falco on purpose? And I'm like, my brother in Christ, I'm not doing anything on purpose. It is on purpose to not have him spawn. Spawning him is completely by accident. Not spawning him is something you have to actively do. You're, you're twisting it around, sir. <laughs> but that, he, that makes me think that there must be a way to do it. Because otherwise, why would he say it in that way? That seems just like a really weird way to, to troll someone. I mean, maybe it is. You never know with Adam. <laughs> he, he, he likes to do a little trolling for sure. I have to be careful because Lucas is going to show up here any second. Any lasers? No lasers.
Okay, let's go. Yeah, I can see the YouTube chat. Dollmaker, yeah, Dollmaker was triggered from the webpage. I mean, if the idea is when you see Del Taco, he spawns, like... I mean, that's very stupid. But so what you have to do is you have to figure out when he spawns, which I think he spawns at around 12 p.m. Or 12 a.m., I guess you call it. And then you just have to not look at the camps for like an hour long, I guess. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I guess that's the way you avoid him spawning. But like, that's silly. But I guess you can work around it that way. Okay, then. I guess I guess as long as you don't see it. Uh, two, four, one, five, nine, two, four, one, five, nine. Uh, two, four, one, five, nine. Bit of a all over the place code. Any, any noirs? No noirs. Lucas is going to be showing up here any fucking second. Um... Can we get at least one report? It's been so long since we had a report, dude. Because we've been fucking all over the place. <laughs> because of the damn... Um... Damn things going out all the time. And us having to deliver packages and stuff. Laptop, that's a hack. Okay. We're still seven above quota, which is really, really nice. Backpack in the garage? I didn't see it. We're going back there soon. Uh, no windows. I'm just really checking very thoroughly because I feel like uh, I feel like Lucas is gonna be here any moments. Lucas. You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous, sir. Uh, the hack is still- There's a fucking guy in the window. That's a little sussy, I would say. Okay, I'm gonna- I, I don't want to check- Like, the thing with the, the bathroom, you don't want to check because then you're gonna have... Uh, like, Lucas's laser show up and then you have to hide in the bathroom. Which is gonna mean you can turn off the light, so then you're gonna be in the- you're gonna be having to wait for like fucking an hour in the bathroom or in the toilet. Report will do. Dude, we almost got 10 over quota. We're actually freaking crushing this. The only thing that could kill us is a noir spawn in the bathroom here. Because I'm not setting I'm not I'm not checking for that. That was actually a thing. Alright, well, uh luckily I checked. That could have killed you. If you weren't diligent enough and you you wouldn't have checked for Lucas there before doing that. Those are like that's where my my scrutinized instincts just absolutely save me. Like, my my scrutinized instincts is like, before you do something that is going to lock you in place for a while, you have to check if the danger is there, because if the danger is there, you're going to die. Like, similarly to if you have to crack a phone in scrutinized, you have to first check if Tanner is there. Uh, you want to maybe first check if the kidnapper is there uh, before you actually do it. And maybe you even have to check for Tanner in while you're doing the crack as well. I guess just, I mean, that's, that's how, um, that's how the, the fucking scrutinized mechanics work. They're, they're super punishing if you don't, like, pay uber attention. It's real fucked up. Um, the category is still slender. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, I, I have learned what I have learned, at least for now. The first thing we've learned on YouTube streaming is that people are equally pedantic about the title as they are on Twitch. So it turns out nothing ever changes. And the second thing we've noticed is that people don't read the title of the stream because the title of the stream is telling you the game we're playing. And the thumbnail is also telling you the game we're playing, so... <laughs> Please, you you found the one thing that's contradictory to all of the other signals around you. The game we're playing on the screen, the thumb, the thumbnail, the title. There's one factor pointing you in another direction, and you're 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 disregarding all the other facts. My guy, please. 
Okay, I'm gonna check the bathroom now because that was quite a while. Because <laughs> there might be someone waiting here. Nope. I don't know, man. If he can actually spawn there, that's fucked. That is so stupid. We'll see. Okay, please give me... Hey, that's a moth. Please give me some reports. We're still... Oh, we're still in this hour, which means we can get some bonus quota here. Oh, the code change. But like that signal, I'm having a great time. It's 86063. Eight six oh six. Eight, boom. We just did Lucas, right? We need to check for package. Um, there's a package four B. Okay, four B. Twenty minutes to do that? Are you fucking joking? We just need to report one thing, and then there's a wallet. All right, here we go. Then we go to four B, and then maybe we get Paco as well. Always check the left side of the hall first, because if you don't, you might get killed by the lady. And don't run out into the hallway, because if you see the lady while you're running, you instantly get killed. <laughs> so yeah, be careful about that. <laughs> yeah, we're playing on night or on a normal mode, because nightmare mode isn't out yet. But once it is, we will try it. Don't worry. But nightmare mode doesn't exist right now. Okay. Hey, coffee power. What's up? Alrighty. There's gonna be lady up here, 100%. There's no way it can't. Or there's not. What the fuck? Alright then. Surprising. I feel like they reduced the spawn of Noir like so much. Like, no. No! Oh no. It's Taco. It's Taco. It's Taco on the roof. That's the first time, dude. Roof Taco. <laughs> Dude. Uh oh. He's here. That's the first time we've seen Roof Taco. I I'm being quiet so I can hear the footsteps. I mean, I guess you can hear the ding when he leaves, right? But yeah, it does happen. Maybe he made it more common. Because that's the first time I've seen it. Where do we need to go? 4B, right? Are we going to have to wait so long that we can't report it? That we are, or that we're not going to be able to deliver the package on time? Maybe. He will not appear in the apartments. That would be stupid. Going? That mean he's going? I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming I can go. Okay. Dude, that is awesome, man. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I thought I was dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. There's not even an elevator button up here. We go to 4B, right? 4B. Oh, boy. And then there's gonna now... You know what's gonna happen now? Now there's gonna be a fucking lady here. And then we have to turn around. And then by the time we deliver the package, it's gonna be too fucking late. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? 
And this also takes fucking forever to go to four. Like, what the fuck, man? But yeah, I think the way to deactivate Del Taco is just not seeing him. But, like, you can't avoid seeing him because you have to check the cameras. Well, you can. Like, the way you would have to avoid him is just not looking at the cameras at around the time that he spawns. Because then he will despawn, probably. Uh, there's no Noir. Or B. No! That is so fucking dumb, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I missed the package because I was being attacked so much. All right, well, unlucky. That, if that happens, dude, nightmare mode is going to be a fucking stupid disaster, man. If you get a low package on nightmare mode, say goodbye to the run. You're just going to have... Because there's going to always be Taco on the roof. There's always going to be Noir on the roof. There's always going to be Lucas on the roof. And you're just going to be constantly like missing packages and probably because it's nightmare mode you're not going to be able to miss a single package otherwise you lose which is just going to mean like nightmare mode will be completely fucked <laughs> but we'll see i was just unlucky because we got a 20 minute spawn like i really feel like for for nightmare mode they need to have a minimum of 30 minutes otherwise it's just not gonna work man Eight six eight six zero oh, six three. Nice. And now I will check the bedroom real quick because I feel like I would have seen someone already. Okay then. We should sit down and check for Lucas immediately because he does that. There you. Wait, I turned on the light. Whoopsie daisy. But I'm, dude, we fucking got the mechanics down to a T right now. To a science. <laughs> Let's go. All right, five pass. We need to do it. Um, it's drinky time. Um, and that means we still have luckily quite a bit of quota, but that, the later hours are going to get really hard here. You know what's going to happen by the time we get to the computer, by the way? The fucking signal signal is going to be dead again and then we're going to have to f <laughs> go back to the roof once again <sighs> you have to hide under the bed well you can you hide under the bed or in the bathtub but equal to welcome to the game 2 you should never hide in the bathtub never never a good idea just makes everything harder for no reason well no code you fucking shit up New code. 21984. 21984. I'll check the freaking bathroom. The bedroom. <laughs> Think of the devil, dude. Hi. That's it. Come closer. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> Don't. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And bonus second. That is so silly, man. Alrighty. Here we go. Luckily, we have more than enough quota, but the, like we need to keep stacking up more overtime so that we can hit, hit the later nights. We're pretty, we're pretty late already. I don't know what time is. What time is it? It's like three already or something. Pretty crazy. And now Lucas is gonna show up. Like you can see how fucked up this is, and like how if you would turn up these numbers here, like nightmare mode will be impossible. Like, I'm, I'm very scared that Nightmare Mode will just be a complete RNG shit show. Oh, well, unlucky. Once again, as as per usual. Has to be expected. Of course. We're back to our old RNG. Let's go. Wait, what? What just happened? Wait, it just disappeared? Oh, there we go. Is there a package here? Is there a dude here? 
You don't want to just turn on your flashlight randomly, by the way. Because if you turn on your flashlight and then Lucas spawns, you will just get killed. Because he kills you when you have your flashlight on. Um. Alrighty. Um. That's unlucky. Because now we are... I mean, we're losing out on our stacked up points, right? No more going back to the roof, please. I want to play the game now, or at least the observation duty part of the game. Two, one, nine, eight, four. Probably not sprint there, huh? Didn't we have Lucas recently, actually? Okay, can we please play a game? I want to play a game. I need to get... There's a phone. That's a hack. While we do a hack, we, like, while we just reported something, we might as well quickly check the bathroom. Because it's, like, free. Okay. We are at 11. No, oh, wait. We're actually, like, we we're at three almost here. Uh, there's a van. That's suspicious. Let's go. Okay. That's more overtime. So we're at... Did you say package? Don't tell me another fucking package now. No package? We can miss more. There's gonna be more and more anomalies in these later nights, by the way. Or in these later hours. He actually properly balanced that now. Which is nice. Okay, this report is good. Ah, uh, fuck me. We're gonna have to check, like, the entire house here. Because if there's a noir, then they will kill us here. Back back in the garage. People keep saying that, so I'm assuming it's just something that people see that's not actually there. I have to sit down and check for laser. Okay. Here we go. Repair. If we die here now, I don't know what I prob possibly could have done to, to not die. I checked everything. Okay, so we're only four above quota. Which means that the next hour is going to be a bit scary. And he did fix the bug where you could finish the last night or last hour with not enough points. So we do need to have enough points now. So keep that in mind. Oh my god, it's spun in a circle. Any bitrate in the chat? I'm sorry for the bitrate. Okay, please. Uh, that's a lot of blood. Okay, this is good. I mean, this is like perfect, man. This is exactly what I wanted. More anomalies in the later hours. Because that was what was so frustrating. That there was just not enough stuff happening. So you would be staring at the cameras for so fucking long. While like avoiding all these crazy killers. And then you still wouldn't get anything to report. Like it felt so demoralizing. So yeah, great job on the balancing here, Adam. 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm having a way better time now. Like, even if I were to die now, at least it feels so much more fair. Like, running out of time on the... Like, on getting your quota is such a sad way to go. <laughs> it's just like, well, I, I was here. I could have reported something, but... It was not enough for me to report. Uh, we have another body part there, or another suspicious. Holy shit, we're getting so many. That's already... Uh, six above quota now, which is great. Oh, hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bonus seconds. Okay. Good shit. Wait, is that a package? No. Checking for Lucas because he's about to show up here. Oh boy. Uh, did we get a package? Package that needs to go to 6A. 45 minutes though. 45 minutes on 6A. We should wait until the power goes out here. Um. Like, until the signal goes down. And if it doesn't go down, we just fucking miss the package. Whatever. 
It's fine. We need to try and get as many reports as possible because in these later hours sitting at the computer is incredibly valuable because you get so many fucking reports. Like so many things happen. There's some money there. See, like so much. That is seven above quota. I really wonder, what if you already are a 10 in the last hour? Do you just sit under the bed? I guess you have to report back or you have to deliver packages. Goodness gracious, man. Oh, there's still two more hours. Uh, report checks out. Good stuff. I have to be checking as much as possible. Thank you, Rika, for the sub. And Betty, thank you for the 12 months. Seeing anything. But that's okay. Spooky noises. I'm so focused. I'm sorry. It's the it's the focus hour. It's we're nearing the end of the <laughs> the shift here. We got to try and get as many reports as possible. We gaming right now. Uh, I mean, we're still not in the next hour yet. Come on. Phones. This room, man. I like. Don't know if there's. I have to figure out what can spawn there. It's probably all just suspicious things that spawn there. Yeah. If we get between 18 and 20, I mean, that would be crazy. Okay. Now here, if we can now get 19 reports, we are done. If we get 19 reports from this point onwards, we win. We're almost at quota already for this next hour here, which there's gonna be between like 10 or 12 reports this hour. So we need to try and stick to it as much as possible. Uh, that's really unfortunate. I'm actually gonna leave that for a bit. And What about my package? It's not that important. I'm only gonna go if my power goes out. Because if we go for the package now, then by the time we get back down, the there's already gonna be a power outage, and then we have to go back up again, and it's, we're just gonna keep go running up and down the stairs, or up and down the elevator, and it's just gonna be a disaster. So I'd rather miss the package because we can and focus on getting the reports. Although we are getting very unlucky with the reports right now for some reason. I don't know if there's like some grace period at the start of the hour where just nothing spawns or something. It's weird. The door is not unlocked. Uh, that is annoying. I should probably do that one, huh? I don't know if I should. I feel like they repair them. I think they repair themselves if the power goes out. Like if you're... Can I get something? What the fuck? Unless it's like all spawning in that one cam that never gets anything. We're getting like no reports at all. There's something that's suspicious. Hey. That's good. Finally, a report. It seems like the first seven minutes... Oh, there we go. The first seven minutes of every hour, nothing happens. I don't know if that was just a coincidence there. <laughs> All right. Now the power is going to be out by the time that we get... Um, that we get back and then we can do the package. Even though we're probably going to be too late on the package anyway, but it's okay. Uh, we need to wait until 40? No, a little longer. No, I think the dead bodies doesn't mean anything. I need to wait until 50. Might have missed the package in the lot. That is very possible. I mean, obviously, I'm missing some things. Like, we're not we're not flawless here, but we are, like, at least 90-plus percent accurate. Um, While we are sitting at the computer, I feel. Like... Probably more, even. We're gonna get... Uh, I'm checking this just in case. We're gonna get taco soon. Camera is just gonna be dead forever. He's gonna be mad at me gonna be like you fucking left my package you dickhead
Oh uh, boy, there's a bag. That's suspicious. Okay, so now we're at quota. So now we need to collect over quota points. Maybe we should go for the package so we can miss it in the last hour. I feel like if we go now, uh, 6A. I feel like if we go now, by the time we get upstairs, the power's already gonna be out. 6A. So then, uh, we can do both at the same time anyway. We'll see. Hopefully the, the guy's not gonna be up here. This might have been a terrible mistake here, but we'll see. That took so fucking long. Next A is on the left. Yeah, it might be Del Taco on the roof, which wouldn't even be bad because that means that we for sure will get the power outage. Power goes out and you're stuck in the elevator. No. Lady is going to be here. No. Don't ding, man. Do not do a ding. No dinging. All right, please tell me this is already dead. Come on. Let's go! I fucking told you! Let's go, dude. Efficiency max. Max efficiency. We just dealt with... With Lucas as well, but might as well be safe. Okay, well, that was not very lucky, but whatever. Okay. Nice. 6A. On the left. Okay, this is great. If we can get this package, that will be fantastic, but not... You press the stop button. We can't move, so I don't think we can. Maybe you can click to stop the elevator, but... Alright, let's hope we can deliver this, otherwise that would be very sad. That would mean... That would mean that in the last hour, we might have to deliver a package which could throw us off completely. Back to Ding Dong Dash. Oh, God. 6A is on the this side. Come on. Come on. Fuck. That's unlucky. That's unlucker dog, man. Whatever. We're gonna have taco in the house. Doo -doo. Yeah, this is made by the same developer as Welcome to the Game. It's the finally another Welcome to the Game style game. It's been so long since we had one of these. Cyber Rat was pretty good. And Cyber Rat, the developer of Cyber Rat is making another Welcome to the Game style game, which I'm very excited about. It's called Threat Actor. If you want to see the demo for that, it's in the demo video I uploaded recently. Um, mode was two. Oh, it's probably going to be different. Nope, still locked. <clears> Hi, <throat> right, Taco Man, you coming? Yeah, that must have been good. Checking. Go. We are at nine as we. Well, we're at ten. Oh my god. We should do some repairs, but. I, th I thought they would repair themselves, but whatever. We'll do some repairs. Probably gonna get tacoed. I just wanna be able to. S I mean, this camera didn't doesn't matter at all. But whatever. We're doing it still. We got 30 minutes. Okay, this is gonna get tricky still. Maybe it is still. Insanely hard near the end here. Like we were so ahead. It's crazy how much you have to do in the mid game. Like how swamped you are. With, with tasks. Like, how many times you have to turn on your your shit. I feel like I'm just wasting my time checking the bathroom, but whatever. Okay, nothing here. Uh. Police! Hide in the bathtub! Come on. So focused on the 
Oh my god, this is still broken? Alright, we have to repair it. So we have it back again? I didn't realize that would actually stay broken. I thought this would fix itself. I've seen someone, maybe it's been a bug that's been fixed since then. But I've seen someone not repair a camera and then it just repaired itself. No! Fuck you, man. Hopefully the repair stays. Alright, well... Ah, damn. That's so hard. We still have quite a little bit of time left until we get the until we get the next uh, hour, but it'll be a little risky. Oh boy. Okay. So, what's the plan here? Just report, I guess. I mean, we've been miss we've been getting very little reports in this last hour because we haven't been able to sit at the computer too much. What do you think of a new patch that adds a basement with a power box? They can't do that. They can't make you go all the way to the fucking bottom with the elevator that's this slow. It would be impossible. <laughs> the elevator is... The elevator needs an upgrade then. Or you need to have like an upgrade you can buy, like the elevator upgrade. I don't know. Who is they? Hey, Senpai, what's up? We having seven days to die. I need to record another episode. Just been very busy with seven, with the dead signal. Game is damn amazing. He's already leaving. Holy shit! What does he say, by the way? Where are you in Italian? I see. The code is off, obviously. Looks like we didn't get to report this. It's still the same. Wow, I was checking because I felt like it would have changed by now. Uh, 21984. Let me quickly check this. It's so useless to check that. I'm getting fucking scammed. You need to check for laser. Oh my god, you have to repair it from the beginning again? You're a piece of shit. <laughs> You're a piece of garbage. Come on. We have 15 minutes to get a few reports, man. Unlucky. Here, you have to check. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, give me something. Because we really... There's a suitcase that's assuming high value. Or suspicious, I guess. What is a suitcase? Is a suitcase high value? Getting for controlled, man. Uh, did that count? Port is good. Okay, suitcase is high value. Nice. Can we get any more in this hour before the hour ticks over? That would be a nice bonus. Um... That would be a very nice... The code change? Uh, 33713. Uh, 33713, boom. Let's go. Okay, we need to get more... Things. Fast credit cards, high value. That's still in this hour, so that's still bonus. Because I know there's 12 to 14 reports in the last hour. I think. I think I saw that when Adam was balancing the difficulty. Which means that we should have more than enough, even with some of the the things that are going to be thrown our way. Um, but still, we want to get as many now as possible. Hey, yeah, come on. Fuck is that sound? Did you hear that? Someone's like talking. Oh, it's, it's people fighting upstairs. You never listen to me. Must be the neighbors. As I said earlier, they uh, he was thinking of making a patch where you have to like uh, hit the broom on the roof to make people shut up. You already got that. Uh, those credit cards right there. 
by the way. Money next to the bed? Uh, I know what you mean. Fuck, I went the complete opposite way. This one, thank you. Okay, that was a bonus report, so we are still... Uh, four above quota? But we only need six in the last hour. Uh, and if we can get one more bonus here, that would be absolutely incredible. But I doubt it. Because there's going to be something happening soon. Board will do. Nice. Come on, give me one more bonus. Oh, there's a guy! Let's go! Okay, we actually got five. So we only need five in the last hour. That's amazing. Come on, one more. One more, baby. One more before the hour ticks over. Not gonna happen. We already got that money there. I'm just gonna check the bathroom. Probably gonna be Lucas that shows up now and then we're gonna get shot. I think I'm actually making it more risky by doing this because if the laser show- <gasps> See? Like I could have fucking gotten turbo killed there. <laughs> but alright. Alright then. <laughs> Okay, 35. Can I see the chat? I can. It's just really hard to read chat in general because of the fucking stress that you have to go through for this game. Why are you checking the bathroom? Because people said that Noir can spawn there and we're so close to the end I don't want to die and we have more than enough time to get enough reports. So it's like, I'm just trying to focus on staying alive. What's really cool about this game and I really like that they're balancing the reports here because... Now you have to actually do this balance where, like, if you're good on your reports, you can ease off of the reports and focus more on on the, like, staying alive part. And if you are don't have enough reports, you need to be more, more dangerous and more risky and potentially risk dying so you can get more reports. Like, it, it works really well. But right now, the main thing we want to do is stay alive because we have more than enough reports. Okay, let me just make sure there's no one. Okay. Like the door, man? Did I... Is the door code changed? What the fuck? Why are you guys spamming the code? The door's still green. You can see if the code or the door is locked. Uh, by the color of the door. Okay, so now we're in the next hour. Last hour. Five more reports. We hit our quota. We win the game. I don't know why I'm standing up so much, but I'm just fucking paranoid as hell. Um... Give me anything. Was there a dude? There's no dude. There's an arm. Well, that's actually very, very sneaky, man. Saw that arm? We'll probably check if there's a package, but we don't really need to do a package because we can fill one more. <clears throat> this is this normal mode? Yeah, the highest difficulty right now. Me? Come on. Fuck off. There was a box. This report is good. Now we only need four more, baby. The stress, though. The stress you have to go through in this game. He's, he's probably already sent us a package, right? Did he? We should at least check where we need to send it to. 8C? I mean, we'll go if we get the power to go out. But I'm not going otherwise. 8C. <clears throat> At least we need to remember where it goes to. Uh, give me something else, because we can still miss one more. The arm was still there, but we already reported that. Alrighty, nothing. Nothing ever happens. Please. Nothing here either. Come on, man. Where are the freaking... I wonder if the reports or if the RNG of the reports is like poorly balanced because I feel like last time we got most of the reports near the end of the hour as well. Like it just feels like they're heavily skewed towards the end of the hour and the start of the hour you get very little. Oh, there's a guy. Never mind. All right, then. That's we need three more. Three more reports, baby. What the fuck? Let's get the shit out of me. Floppicello, what's up? 
Okay. Nice. That's good shit, man. There we go. Okay. What was it? 8C? All right. This is, this could be, I don't know if we actually get it in time. That's it. Come closer. Okay. Don't move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bonus second. Oh, thought there was a, <laughs> an anomaly there. No. All right. We're probably not going to get the thing, but whatever. It's fine. <clears throat> double. I always do a double bonus second. When I say bonus second. Bonus is one second and second is a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're probably going to get that taco on the roof, though. Which is like, if we get taco on the roof, we can't get the package. But it's good. It's fine. Like, we don't need the package. Um, we would love to get that bonus. Because then we only need two more in the whole hour. 45 minutes, though, right? I feel like that might be enough. Aw, Jeff. Say hi to Samantha. Got killed by Lucas while coming out of the elevator? Probably not intended. Okay, we just got Lucas as well, right? Just no... Is the package is still here. I love how these people are so... They're, they don't get, like, one day delivery. They get one hour delivery, dude. These people are freaking greedy as hell. kidding me oh what what was that what was that fucking beep just me what was the beep it was not i looked at it's not the elevator the fuck oh is that that the package was missed is that the package was missed probably i'm assuming but let's try anyway let's see i'm assuming that's what it is but HC is so close that we might as well try. Stormy, thank you for the 23. Thank you, green dragon. Okay. HC. Maybe code change. May maybe? I feel it. If we get roof taco now, it's kind of fucked up. Or taco here. It might happen and then we don't have the package. Oh my lord. Okay, I don't think we have the package because I'm pretty sure he never shows up if you have a package for the last door. So I'm pretty sure the package already got removed from us. Goodness Christ, just get the shit out of me. So let's see. Can we deliver a package here? Nah, see, we missed it, but that's fine. We, we, that was part of our risk assessment. Uh, three, three, seven, one, three. Still same code. Like we don't need the package to win here. We just need to stay alive and report like three more things, which should be more than doable. Check if there's a Lucas or a Noir. Okay. Come on, we really need some reports now though. A uh, hack, okay. That is 30 minutes for two reports. Unless we get absolutely blasted here, we should be more than fine. Oh my god, that's that's one of those things that I consider blasting. Fucking damn it. I'm gonna repair. This reporter will do two more, man. It's not showing the missed package. Yeah, it's not showing the wait, that's a bug. <laughs> I don't know why it I mean maybe it's still gonna kill us anyway, but yeah, it's not showing the missed package. Unless you can't unless I could still deliver it, but like why would Oh, he probably just said that the package was missed. I don't know what's happening then. They probably, maybe we actually could deliver the package. Then maybe we literally just missed the package. Then. Wait. Oh yeah. No, I guess I guess that that settles it. That no taco man can show up 
at the floor that you're delivering the package to if it's at the end of the door okay that's just a lucky if we didn't have a we have so many report or so many packages for c uh okay well one more anyway we had so many packages for c rooms this round that was really unlucky credit cards i don't see them we got blood i reported that by the way i think we got this one more report will do literally a single more report after this there's no reason to do anything what do we even do at that point <laughs> let's just sit uh win though i'm just gonna stand up as much as possible play it mega uber super safe i shouldn't check the bathroom though because the laser is way more scary than the potential of a noir being there and if noir is there then that is just like some bullshit because you can't like going there and getting shot by lucas is so much more likely like i feel like that's just like bad that doesn't seem right that noir can spawn in the bathroom wait oh we got the gun the fence that's one thing i've never seen in this there's the laser that should be quota let's go we did it did we beat it there's blood between the cars i think that's just damage on the floor uh let's fucking go Thank you, Festus. Okay, and this means now we can check the bathroom. That's why I wasn't checking the bathroom, because I knew that Lucas was about to show up. They all come in to celebrate. We're, we're all going to have a party together with Mr. Taco and stuff. Uh, Ten more seconds here. What do we do when we're at max quota? Do we just fucking... Do you, like... I guess on the... If you were actually trying to, like, go as fast as possible... You would wait at floor 10 in the elevator and then go to the roof as soon as you know the timer expires because then you'll like immediately win the game, right? That's the fastest way you can get to the ending. Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bonus second. Here we go. And he showed up, which means that he's probably not going to show up for a while now. Which means we're probably going to be good. That's it. We're at 10. What did we do now for the last time? Can we still get a report? Can we still report something? There's an arm. Get up to check for Noir. And then report the arm to see what happens if you get 11. Esky, thank you for the three. Suspicious. Do we get a package, maybe? Wait, we need to be careful that we don't have a package that needs to be delivered right before. No package. Um, uh, so what now? <laughs> what now? Do we just sit here? Wait, he didn't even count it. Oh, no, there we go. 11 out of 10. I mean, if it's gonna be like this, this feels like nightmare mode would be possible. Check the room. For potential noir. So now, if you wanted to get, like, the world record, just sit at the... Sit on floor 10 until... Like, we need to time it perfectly. Sit at floor 10. We have 10 more minutes. But I'm not going to do that because I want to show you what happens here. But, like, that's why I mean there's not really a possibility to speedrun. Because... There is, a. Uh, it's all it's like a timed uh game right do we just not sit at the computer anymore i don't i think we shouldn't like there's no reason to it's just gonna spawn the war the code changed we have eight six eight two three eight six eight two three Eight six eight two three boom. You got six 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 viewers. That is terrifying. That's the same dev as welcome to the game. Uh this was actually flawless. This is I mean, keep in mind that once again we are playing I didn't hear it was uh I I feel like I might be talk did I just talk over the taco guy and we're gonna get killed by taco now? That would be so funny. 
I mean, if we die at this point, it'll just be a great meme, right? <laughs> but we, um... I feel like this was way more balanced. Like, we could have gotten a few more reports, but this was way better in terms of, like, balanced than, man, our first, like, when we beat night normal mode for the first time, it was so stupid. Um... Like, there, it was so unbalanced getting the report. So, yeah, just great, like, props to Adam for actually tweaking some of the balance. Like, we played... We have so much so much experience because we already beat normal mode. And we, we literally, like, played through everything. So, like, we're pretty damn good at this game. We're also, like, very good at observation duty in general. And... Uh, is there going to be any enemy right at the end here? And we still had to push. We only, we only got it pretty chill near the very end here, which was like, like, really close to the end is when we actually. Uh, I'm gonna sit at the computer just now. Okay, three more minutes just to see if anything spawns. Yeah, I'm happy to see that normal mode is actually being made normal for normal people. That actually, like, everyone will be able to beat normal mode with like enough practice instead of it being just like RNG bullshit. So that's really cool. Now nightmare mode on the other hand will probably be impossible. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up that that anyone will be able to fix nightmare or beat nightmare mode. There we go, shift completed. And then what, do we get an email from Adam? I think we do. I'm just checking if there's any, we get a message. Uh, Ronald, I am very impressed with your ability to stay alive. Come to the rooftop. I have something for you and don't worry You've proved your worth. I'm not going to kill you. All righty We did it dude. We I just wanted to test out how the new balance of um, Oh god Of normal mode was I'm gonna close my door here real quick And it feels way better and now I can't wait for so yeah, that, if you're watching, Adam, I, I would say this is properly balanced now. Um, if there are Noir that show up in the bathroom, I would say that it's kind of bullshit. We didn't have that this round, though. But I'm assuming that's just a myth that doesn't actually happen. Um, is that, like, how you can't see those? You have to walk around every single time. That would be kind of silly. Uh, but I need to move my camera because we know there's going to be fucking mega subtitles down here. Oh, I need to... I can't see chat right now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Time for the ending. Oh, oh, I have to walk. <laughs> here we go. Boop. Hi there. Okay. I'm here. What the echo. You... Good evening, Ronald. It's about time. We've been waiting for you. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Adam, he's here. Ronald? Yeah, you can see their faces. Thank you, Myra. Myra? Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. It's a pleasure to have an opportunity to talk man to man, finally, isn't it? You're not trying to kill me? What do you want from me then? Straight the echo. Point. Very good. You've proven quite useful. Very capable. That's why I brought you up here. I wanted to introduce you to a couple of associates of mine. In fact, not only am I not going to kill you, but I have a job offer for you. I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit. Here you go. Sorry, sorry for the mute, but you can read the text. Oh, what? A shade of job. A bunch of pretentious bottom feeders. They're a fucking joke. Every piece of information worth having hits my desk first. Authority, access, control. Swore. The pulse of this city rests under my finger. I'm so Ronald. It's time to work for me. I don't know why there's so much echo. <laughs> I don't think so. I like my job. Oh, no. I don't think you understand. Let me explain. You phone who I this? I rarely offer jobs directly to anyone. You're a special case. And your compensation will be substantial compared to whatever buybacks pay you. We can get you out of this shithole apartment. Put you somewhere a man of your caliber belongs. It's really cool how this one ties together with the next game. I love how he says nothing. Care about 
Yeah, it's a really nice apartment. I don't know why he would want to leave it. What do you really want? Maybe something money can't buy? Could it be? It's not Alice. I don't know what's with Alice. How do you know about it? Have you been paying fucking... attention, Ronald? And I'll just what I do best. Find out what people truly desire. And the signs. Kind of hello, hello, hello. It's, it's me. me. It's me. Adam. Adam. Sorry. That sad boy <laughs> shit of yours has got to go. Don't work for me. <laughs> Alice. It's so stupid. Alice. So even though you exist, she will if you join me. Trust me. Okay. What's the job? What do you want me to do? Ah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I love how long this fucking yeah, thing like, you're just looking at this yeah, lady's yeah. hand. <laughs> now we're fucking like I run 10 minutes. Games. Not trying to flame at all. I like the I like the way the story ties together, but it is a little silly. Special brand. <laughs> However, it's been a while since the last show, but I'm working on something new. Something Like I don't know why Adam doesn't show up himself here. Like I know the you sick games. Don't you see? You've been helping me brainstorm my next big game. Look, she's gonna shoot me. You've been playing an important role. My game is perfectly simple. Find a specific individual and put them through a series of tasks. Uh, of course, this involves surviving my mother's legal associates, inconvenient hacks, and the pesky clock that just keeps counting down and down. All while combing the deep web to the most bullshit keys for some bullshit puzzle. <laughs> I have everything I need, except a hacker. You want me to hack for you? And that's it. To simplify your role, yes. You see, I'm already getting the new. Four minutes call already. I found the perfect star. <laughs> He's not your average Joe. He's actually not a Joe at all. He's a John. <laughs> He's your average John. Joe. Here we go. It's John, baby. So John, if you don't John, know, is the character that you're going to be playing as in the next big, huge Welcome to the Game release. That's probably going to be somewhere next year. You don't know when exactly, but he's already finished the majority of the work for Welcome to the Game 3, which is really sick. This one will be dealt with in a... Well, let's just say I'm going to scorch the earth on this one, which is where your expertise come into play. To put on a good show and make a prime example of I'm offering you this once in a lifetime opportunity. So, what do you say, Ronald? You win? I promise you, it will be worth it. Think of Alice. <laughs> I don't know what this fucking Fuck. Alice is all about. I'll do it. We haven't heard of Alice at all Excellent. until this final cutscene here. Truly. You have no idea how disappointed I'd have been if Myra and Patrick had to kill you after all this. It is kind of like. Wasted. It is kind of funny yeah. to me how all of the Welcome to the Game games have the developer yeah. that whose name is Adam as like some god it's character. Nice. <laughs> it's it's like, alright dude. Alive than dead. Oh, and don't worry about the shit. <laughs> he has been taken care of. Wait, did you fucking kill him? Nothing so permanent. But enough of that. It's time we end this little call. It's been a pleasure speaking. To Little you. call. It was a six-minute call, dude. To you. Calls no, meetings no, that could have been an email. Example number one. Now, you're signed to team walk. Now it's been a long time. Get some rest. We'll talk soon. It's gonna be interesting though, cause um, they said Welcome that to the Noir, Ronald. Here. we get a mask. Look this. at this mask. Uh, they said that we will be getting. Let me take a screenshot here. Have a good night, Ronald. Sweet dreams. Why are her eyes like moving like that? I love how her hair is like to the side because that's where usually the mask is. So it looks kind of like our hair looks really silly without the mask. We get back to the elevator. Oh, baby. Bye bye. <laughs> this is so. I love how this. <laughs> how like non threatening they are without the mask. They're just like fucking too. too... 
two people. <laughs> just like some regular Joe Smos. But yeah, there you go. Welcome to the game, John's chapter, which will be the true welcome to the game three. Because this is going to have as much if... What? Wait. Huh? What? We had the exact same amount of events as last time? It felt so much better this time. Wait, huh? Okay, we got extremely low. We got the, cause I was doing the math yesterday and you, the, so the way that the nights work. So uh, by the way, I love this game. I've been having so much fun. This, this is probably gonna be the last video until Nightmare Mode releases, which should be somewhere in the next week. Uh, but um, I was watching him balance the game and for the first hour, it was eight between 8 and 10 anomalies. For the second hour, 8 and 10. Third hour, 8 and 10. Then it was 10 to 12. Then it was 10 to 12. Then it was 12 to 14. Which means, let's see, let's grab a calculator here. That would mean that the lowest possible amount of anomalies would be 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12, which would be... Wait. No, I, I missed one. Wait, what? No, there was another 10 in there. Another 10. The lowest... Wait, what the fuck? It messed up my... Wait, what? 8 plus 8... What? My fucking calculator is being stupid. Plus 8 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12. How many hours are there? Plus another 10. Because there, there's... Uh, how many hours? There is 10 to 11. 11 to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 7 hours. Okay, so... It was 8 to 10 three times, and then 10 to 12 three times, and then the last hour was 12 to 14, which means that the lowest possible amount of anomalies you could get is 66, and the maximum amount would be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus uh, 12 plus 14? 80. So it, it would be between 66 and 80, which means we almost got the lowest amount of possible anomalies. So yeah, we got extremely unlucky uh, twice in a row here, uh, which is kind of insane. It's weird that that felt so much better, so much easier than uh, last time we beat it. I don't exactly know what happened there. Maybe it was just that we were better at the game. But anyway, uh, apparently we got the exact same amount of anomalies. Uh, but yeah, so there's between 66 and 80 anomalies that can spawn throughout your, throughout your whole game. So if you get a little bit more lucky, or easily you will get more lucky, there will be like around uh like 875 or something like that anomalies but yeah it felt way better i don't know if that was just because we got better at the game as well uh at least we got 69 again how nice uh, anyway i'm rambling i was just very because the reason i wanted to replay this is just to check out how well the balancing was done uh, and it felt pretty good it felt like um at least the uh, i don't know if they did if he fixed like a bug with the frequency of anomalies but we just saw way more but maybe we also got lucky uh let me know what you think are you gonna play it for yourself i would highly recommend it's a really fun game uh like playing casual mode like i know we've been playing normal mode which is very stressful what's always really funny to, about these games to me is that the story of these games right the story is that we're putting up a show for like where we're being stalked by killers and we need to like adhere to the rules of these killers to survive but the show is the most boring if you actually play well like if you play well and you never die it's like you basically like it's super easy and it there's not that many cool moments it only really gets exciting when you die a lot which is like completely counterintuitive to the actual show that anime is trying to put on so it's, it feels like the the game story itself doesn't make much sense because it's like it's it's not exciting if you're playing well it's most exciting when you suck at the game and you keep dying which is why i think casual mode is the way to play this game like if you're trying it out yourself try casual mode just keep dying have fun get scared it's so good but anyway i'm just rambling i was just had some things on my mind that i wanted to throw out there thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game is here in chat you can join us over on twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below thanks so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye oh bye baby.